Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashton Leather and I'm really excited to announce a brand new private stock drop and everything that we're about to look at here in the video today will be releasing on our website ashlandleather.com at 5 p.m. Central Time. And we have many incredible items to show you. So private stock wallets are items, prototypes, different leathers, different textures different colors and maybe different finishing techniques that we don't normally offer. And a lot of the stuff today, we've got some really interesting hand stained edges. So let's start off first here with a tall Herbie and one of my favorite leathers. This is a leather called Visage Latigo. And Latigo leather is a full grain leather. You can see the incredible grain texture here. And the name Visage is relevant for the Visage Latigo because that means that we've stained a different color on top of the crust color. So if you see the backside of the leather here, is this really awesome red shade and we stain some black on top of it. So when this leather gets scuffed and scratched, we will, we will reveal some of the red from the crust color underneath. And then on the edges here, we actually accentuated that crust color even more by hand staining it with some extra red stain. And this turned out really, really well. I love the black and red color combo. And we also have some red stitching on this one. So tall Herbie is just like our normal fat Herbie, except we do not have a thumb notch on the outside. And we've got the card holders on the inside. Up next is another great fat Herbie and a fan favorite leather. This is the green Dublin. You can see the difference here with these traditional fat Herbie. We have the thumb notch on the outside as opposed to that tall Herbie a second ago. Take a look at the green stained edges here. Really nice color on the green. And we haven't done a whole lot of green stained edges before because we don't have a whole lot of green leathers, but this one turned out really well. And so more green Dublin on the interior. Another fat Herbie to show you here. This is a lizard texture color number eight shell cordovan. I love the textures on the shell cordovan, especially in a classic color, like the color eight shell, that dark brown burgundy shade. We sort of made this one a little bit different by hand staining the edges to be a color eight color. And then the inside, we've got a reverse interior Interior, and I actually prefer the reverse interior for how it wears in. And here's an absolutely beautiful Fat Herbie, and this is a fan favorite shell cordovan color, a rare cigar shell cordovan. It's kind of similar to the color number eight shell, but there's much less red and burgundy in the cigar shell. It's more of a straight up true brown shade. It's a really beautiful piece of shell here. And we flipped this middle piece around so we could have the interior be this continuous flush piece of cigar shell cordovan all throughout the inside. And of course, we've hand stained these edges with the cigar color to match the shell on the outside. So here's another wallet in cigar shell cordovan, and we've actually got some reverse cigar on this Capone. So we've got reverse shell cordovan on the outside and cigar shell cordovan on the inside. This one, we've got a gold money clip. It's actually a brass finish. Here's another Capone, very similar, and just a little bit of a different option here. I forgot to mention hand stained edges. This one is all reverse cigar. So we've got all reverse on the outside and then reverse on the inside. And let's stick with the cigar theme for a moment. This is a Bugs Moran in that beautiful piece of cigar shell cordovan. These are some of the nicest shells that we've ever seen. And of course, we've got the cigar hand stained edges, which helps to clean up everything. It makes it a little bit more formal looking. And the cigar shell cordovan on the inside and a really nice Horwein ink stamp in the center. And I have another wallet with some cigar shell cordovan and reverse cigar shell cordovan. This is a Frank the Enforcer that turned out very, very nice. The front two card slots our reverse cigar on top of some cigar shell for that centerpiece there. You can see we've hand stained the edges just for the cigar shell piece and we did not do it for the reverse pieces. And then on the back side, we've got cigar shell cordovan on top of reverse cigar. And all of the edges that we finished on the bottom and on the side of this wallet have also been hand stained with the cigar color. Here's another great private stock Frank the Enforcer in a color combo that I do not think I've seen before. So we've got marbled blue shell cordovan sitting on top of some magenta shell cordovan pieces for these top two card slots. And take a look at the edges here. We've got that sort of violet stained edge that actually kind of ties everything together. It makes the blue look a little bit better. It makes that magenta look even more bright and vibrant. And let's take a look at the back side here. We've got some more marbled blue shell cordovan si sitting on top of some magenta shell cordovan. Here's another great Frank the Enforcer. I love this combo. We've got emerald green shell cordovan with a Western texture for the front two card slots. And we've got those two card slots sitting on top of some standard emerald green shell cordovan. I think the 
the textural contrast there is very interesting. We also, we were talking about green edges. This is another one. It's one of the first time we've done some green edges and it's a subtle green. It's pretty dark, but it does match the emerald green very nicely. And we have the same aesthetic on the back of this Frank with some Western emerald green on top of some emerald green. And here's a very clean looking vertical card slot Bugs Moran. I just love taking photos of this guy. I think they look really great in photos. This Chrome Excel is really magical. Great subtle luster and sheen on the outside and a really nice color. And here's a look at the inside where we have those vertical card slots and then hidden card slots underneath each of those two stacks. Another magnificent vertical Bugs Moran to show you. This is inverted violet chill quarters and one of my new favorite looks and colors that uh, Skip Horween has been experimenting with. And the inverted shells, we flip backwards and they actually finish it for the reverse side here. This is actually the grain side of the leather, the not shell side. They flip it and finish it for that side so you get these sort of random die marks on the shell side itself. So the bright shiny luster of the shell cordovan gets all these really interesting patterns. And each piece of inverted shell is completely random and unique. This one's a little bit more subtle on the outside right. I think it's a little bit more contrasty on the back left. On the inside, we've got more of that inverted violet. Really cool, and it's sitting on top of some magenta shell cordovan for these top two card slots. Now here's a wallet that we don't see very often. This is what we call the JR Fold Wallet, and this was a design made by Arnold Horween Jr. He's actually the third generation tanner from Horween Leather Company. He cut one of these for himself many, many decades ago. So we decided to pay homage to him and make this JR Fold. And the way it works, you can put US dollars underneath this little flap. You can actually fit some cards inside of here too. And because this is a veg tan leather, the shell cordovan here, it will mold and form around all those cards and cash inside. It's a very simple minimalist wallet. And then the leather here, we've got something to sort of contrast the inverted violet that we were looking at. This is actually raw violet shell cordovan one of the most purple colors that we've seen. And when I say that this is a raw violet, that means that this has not been polished. So it's a little bit more of a matte luster and it develops to be very bright and shiny just with normal use. So here's a fun one. We don't do a lot of combs and comb sheaths. This is a comb sheath for a Model 8 Chicago comb. And we're gonna be offering these in the carbon fiber combs with this sheath. Actually, I don't have a comb with me right now, but these are the longer handled combs that Chicago comb makes. They're actually dropping those off in a few hours here. So you're gonna get some fresh Chicago combs. This one is really cool. This is regatta blue latigo and it actually has some great contrasting orange thread. What I like most about this are these hand stained red edges. And I think it pulls everything together. It's almost like a Superman vibe here. One of my favorite uh, color combos that we've done. And I've got some more marbled blue shell cordovan. This marble blue is a color that people have been looking for for a while. It's kind of like the marbled black shell cordovan, but we get these more aqua blue, sort of greenish blue shades that come out. And it does range a little bit more to this orangey tan. And all the marbled blue shells are completely random. This is a really nice piece here on the outside. And let's have a look at the inside. This is our traditional Bugs Moran with the card slots that go in this direction. The larger card slots underneath, these will actually hold US dollars folded in half, or you can just use them as four card holders. Here's a fun wallet in a skip style. So this is the tall Tony the Ant, and the reason we call it skip style is he likes this concept of an open bill slot to make it a little bit easier to drop your cash in the outside. So this tall Tony the Ant has reverse color eight shell cordovan on the outside with a perfectly cut Horween ink stamp, basically right in the center, the color eight in the bill slot, and then on the interior, more reverse color eight shell cordovan. And we have another tall Tony the Ant. This is in some of the nicest shell I've ever seen. Emerald green shell cordovan. Just take a look at how smooth, bright, and shiny this piece of shell is. This is exactly what you would like to see from shell cordovan. Something with a mirror-like shine, very, very smooth, and it should feel completely smooth to the touch. And then the emerald green shell has a really dramatic color shift. So depending on what angle you look at this, it can range from a darker green to almost like a Kelly green with a little bit of yellow at some angles. Here's a look at the inside. And this is why I like the tall versions of the wallet is we get continuous color on the inside and on the outside. So you can see the outside all green shell cordovan and on the inside all that emerald green as well. And I've got more great stuff to show you. Have a look here at the Western Denim Blue Shell Cordovan Vault Key Holder. All the edges 
on this key holder have been hand stained with a nice blue finish. And let's have a look at some watch straps. This is another great piece of green Dublin. And this is a two layer watch band. You can see we've stained the edges on this to match the green on the grain side of the leather. We've stained it with a green color and this turned out really nicely. And when I say two layer strap, that means that we have green Dublin facing out towards the world when this is on your wrist. And then this side here, this is the side that will touch your wrist. So you have green Dublin touching your wrist as well as green Dublin facing outward. This Apple watch band here has some black hardware. So we've got a black buckle as well as the black lug adapters. One more Apple watch band to show you. This is a cool piece of Chrome Excel. It's, it's a darker version of the natural Chrome Excel that we call burnt ivory. And the burnt ivory is pretty similar to the natural on the pull-up color. So if I flex this and look at the undertones here, it's a little bit closer towards the natural color, but the surface is much darker. This is an unlined burnt ivory Chrome Excel Apple watch band with black hardware. And we have a couple two-piece watch straps. Check this out, 20 millimeter lug width that tapers down to 18 millimeters at the buckle side here. And this is a reverse piece of color rate. And we've creased the edges. You can see it sort of cleans up the edge a little bit with this crease mark around both of the edges. And this is also an unlined strap. So you'll be seeing so you'll be feeling Color 8 Shell Cordovan against your wrist with the reverse Color 8 facing out towards the world. One last watch strap to show you, we've got marbled black Shell Cordovan. So this is a contrast to the marbled blue that we were looking at earlier. You can see the marbled black here, a little bit more greenish colors, a little darker. And that green color does fade down to a little bit more of an orangey tan on the marbled black Shell Cordovan. This is also a 20 millimeter lug width with an 18 millimeter buckle. And here's a really fun prototype. I thought I'd throw this in here for a pretty steep discount. This is a Frank the Enforcer without a card holder on the back. And we've got black Dublin on the back as well as black Dublin here. And these are wolf felt card holders. I've got a few magical Capone money clips to show you. Denim blue shell cordovan on top of some ultraviolet shell cordovan underneath. This one has some purple stitching on the center here, which is really neat. We also have a blue hand stained edge, which turned out very nicely. On the inside, we've got more denim blue shell cordovan, as well as a gold spring bar money clip. Here's another incredible Capone, one of my favorites of all time, inverted blue shell cordovan. And I cut this one to have this stripe continue through the left and all the way to the right. We've got that sitting on top of some inverted blue in the center that turned out really well. More inverted blue on the interior. And check out these card slots, I love the inverted blue texture on this particular piece. And then what's extra special is this middle piece. This is actually the reverse side of that inverted blue where they finished the blue color on. It's a really nice aqua blue shade. And then of course the gold money clip also. Another really great Capone here. I like this one a lot because this is designed for patina. We've got all reverse natural shell cordovan. This is going to get darker, more golden brown brighter and shinier just with normal use. So we've got reverse natural sitting on top of some natural shell cordovan on the exterior. And on the interior, we've got more reverse natural shell cordovan. And this one also has a gold money clip. Last of the Capones, but not least, another fan favorite, green Dublin Capone. And check this one out. I really, really like how this one turned out. This green Dublin is really nice green character and has some extra figuring on this particular hide that we were coming from. So we've got all this green Dublin on the outside as well as green Dublin on the inside. And I think this gold money clip on this one also matches very nicely with the green Dublin. All right, here's one of the rare treasures that we've been talking about. It's very difficult for us to get Shell Cordovan for the interior of the Giant of the Fox. This is a 100% Garnet Shell Cordovan, the most red color that Horween makes. And this shell here is extra, extra nice. Just take a look at how the light hits that. A really special piece of Shell Cordovan here. And on the inside, this is the part we've been waiting for. It's tough for us to get the naturally thin pieces of shell for all these layers of leather on the inside of the wallet. And it's really difficult because they're rare. And then when it turns out right, it looks like this. We get the perfect thickness of wallet here. It remains relatively thin, even with all these layers of leather. And I have some Tony the Ant wallets to show you. This is denim blue shell cordovan on the Tony the Ant. And this wallet design is the slimmed down, smaller version of the Fat Herbie. People really like this aesthetic of an exterior bill slot. And we decided to make it a little smaller, a little bit more compact. It's slightly larger than a deck of cards. Here's a look at the inside. More denim blue shell cordovan on the interior. Here's a special piece. Check this out. I'm just going to give this one a second. We've got magenta shell cordovan on the outside here. And take a look at how nice that shell is. Really bright and shiny. Totally smooth. 
And then the uh, light bounce off of it is really, really fun for me to do. Great color, that magenta shell. And that's sitting on top of the reverse side of dipped dyed amaretto shell cordovan. It's a little bit orangey for the dipped dyed amaretto. Here's a look at the interior here. We've got more of the dip, the reverse dipped dyed amaretto on top of some magenta shell. And you can see the center here. This is actually the shell side of uh, this piece here on the exterior. So this is the dip dyed amaretto shell cordovan in the center. And have a look at the edges here. This is waxed and burnished, but we put a slight amount of brown color on the edges to sort of just even everything out. Here's another prototype, Bugs Moran Dublin on the outside, and it's black Dublin. I think black Dublin is some of the best black leather around. I think it's very underrated. Here's a look at the interior here. This is a prototype we did with some wool felt, and I did this maybe eight years ago. I've been sitting on this prototype for a while. I thought I'd release it today for a pretty heavy discount. Here's another Bugs Moran in some incredible marbled color eight shell cordovan. This was made from one of our newest teammates here at Ashland by Miranda. And I just love the pattern pieces that Miranda decided to cut here. We've got some really intense marbling texture and patterning that continues all the way from the left and over to the right. I think the way that those work together, is really nice. Here's a look at the outside. This is also marbled color eight, and it's a little bit more of this reddish orangey tan for the marbled color eight. This is sort of the light range of the marbled color eight. And I was talking about uh, the size of that Tony the Ant. Bugs Moran is pretty similar, a little smaller, and this is almost exactly the size of a deck of cards. Here's another fantastic Bugs Moran in one of my favorite colors. This is Amaretto Shell Cordovan, but this is the raw Amaretto, so you can see the luster is much less bright and shiny than uh, the Shell Cordovan. So this is just the unpolished version of the shell, and it gives you a little bit more random variation in the texture, and of course, a matte luster to start off with. Here's a look at the inside, more amaretto shell cordovan, the, the raw amaretto. And I just love this color. It's almost like a natural shell cordovan color, the raw amaretto. And then when you polish this up, it gets a little bit more orangey and tan. And I have a couple more vertical card slot Bugs Morans. This is an all reverse color eight, and we've got a great Horween measuring machine stamp on the left. You can see 1.4 square feet was the size of this shell measured on September 1st, it looks like. And here's a look at the interior, stack card slots in the left and right, and then hidden card slots underneath. Here's an incredible piece, emerald green shell cordovan on this vertical Bugs Moran, some of the nicest shells that I've ever seen. It's reflecting everything in the room here. It's wild how bright and shiny this one is. And of course the emerald green has that great color shift. So some angles a little bit darker and then other angles a little bit lighter. Here's a look at the interior where we've got some vertical card slots in Western violet shell cordovan on top of emerald green on top of some more Western violet. This is a really beautiful vertical card slot Bugs Moran with some green stained edges. And I have some more fat Herbies to show you. This is a marbled black shell cordovan fat Herbie and this is the light color range. A little bit more orangey tan with some green towards the top here on this particular Herbie. That's a little bit of a rare color on the marble shells. Here's a look at the interior. Check that out. Really nice piece of marbled black shell cordovan. And again, this marble black is sort of the lightest that we ever see this color go. And up next here, we have a really special tall Herbie in the Natural M's Chrome Excel. I've been wearing the same exact wallet for quite a while now. I'm really enjoying how the patina develops on the Natural M's Chrome Excel. Just check that out. Super, super nice. Uh, I love the M's Chrome Excel leather. It's very grainy, a little bit more firm than the traditional Chrome Excel. And just take a look at how bright and shiny it's become just with normal use. I haven't polished this or anything. And here's what it looks like new. You can see it's got a nice little luster to it, but it's not as wet and bright looking as it looks like now. This one has been hand stitched with a cream color thread. And take a look at the inside here. We've got some hidden card slots in the Russet M's Chrome Excel underneath some natural M's Chrome Excel. We've got the baby Ashland stamp on the right. Again, hand stitching, natural waxed and burnished edges on this particular Herbie. Another tall Herbie to show you in a fan favorite color, the Cigar Shell Cordovan. And this is great to see because it's just a huge piece of shell in the rare cigar shell color. But I just love seeing that extra large context of shell on something like cigar shell cordovan. And let's take a look at the inside, more cigar shell. And I mentioned earlier, this is why I like the tall versions of the wallet. We get the continuous color all through the outside, as well as the continuous color all through the inside. So cigar shell cordovan all throughout the interior of this fat Herbie. One more Herbie to show you, and this is one of my all time favorites, English tan Dublin with some blue hand stitching on the sides of this one. And that hand stitching is an upcharge from us. We charge a significant amount more, and I only suggest it if you really like 
a chunky thread look. It's a little bit more of a casual vibe, but it certainly makes the stitching uh, more of the star of the show. Take a look at the inside here. I love this color combo. English Tan Dublin on top of some cobalt blue Dublin underneath, again with that blue hand stitching all through the left and right. This one has a wax and burnished edge, so we can see the sort of sandwich look of that cobalt blue Dublin along with the English Tan Dublin. And the last wallet for this batch. I really liked how this one turned out. This is red mystic leather from Horween. This is a veg tan leather that was finished with like a silky finish and then tumbled a slight bit. So you get that really subtle tumble pattern it has this interesting feel to it as well. And I think because of the way it's been finished, it gives it like more of a pale color. So this is a nice pale red. And I really like how this one has been paired with the teal horsehide latigo on the inside. And I remember cutting these and I, I thought the leather looks like um, Caribbean waters or something. So I thought it'd be really interesting to cut into a larger pattern piece, like this long wallet here, Red Mystic with teal latigo on the inside. And we did a natural waxed and burnished edge on this long wallet, just to accentuate the color of the cross sections of the leather and give it this really cool sandwich look. So wow, thanks for checking out everything in the video today. It's probably some of the most uh, special pieces that we've seen and also just the quantity of great stuff in today's drop i'm really excited about man check out this i'm gonna show you this one one more time take a look how we stained the bill slot on this one that magenta color to match the magenta on the outside this is a magical tony the ant and so many great pieces today if you have any questions about any of this definitely let me know all these will be available at 5 p.m central time uh, that's 6 p.m eastern it's 3 p.m pacific time in the united states and they'll be on ashlandleather.com. You can take a look at the private stock page at the top. And again, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Actually, in fact, please leave me a comment. Let me know which of these you like, which one was your favorite. It really helps us to know what you guys are interested in because then I can have the tannery make more of the leather and we can make more special wallets for you. So thanks again. Hope you have a great weekend and take care.